Okay, this video is for my Greek history test that I have just posted online today. The test can be found on your Google Drive under its own separate file folder called Greek History Test. When you open it up, it's a document and it has four different questions on it. What we're going to do right now is go over the questions. Now, a lot of you haven't been watching the videos, and some of you have been. The ones you watch the videos, before you do the work, it might give you a little advantage, a little help. Some people have been doing the work, turning it into me without watching the videos, and I'm having to kind of re-go over things with them. So check the stuff as it comes out. Read the assignments carefully. Look on cabinet carefully, too. All right, these four questions in your test, you have to answer two of them, only two of them. All right, I was going to go with maybe more than four questions, but I settled on these four because it keeps it nice and tight. So you choose two of these questions. You have to answer them on a document. You have to type it up. It has to be punctuated, capitalized, things like that. It's not an English assignment, but I should still be able to follow along with what you're doing. Question number one says this. If the Persians had defeated and occupied Greece, do you think democracy would have risen elsewhere in the world? Explain in as much detail as you can. Okay, I think I left the word would in there. I have to fix that. So, assuming the Persians came in, blew through the Spartans really quickly, burned down Athens, but didn't stop there and took over all of the city-states of Greece. If that had happened, do you think democracy would have risen elsewhere in the world? Okay, democracy being ruled by the people. Okay, second question. Thinking of the school system of the Spartans, so we're talking about the agoge here, the one like Kyrgyz put into place. Do you think that a universal standard of education, both physical and mental, okay, would be a good thing to implement in a modern society? Now, we have standards for the public school system. There are standards of education for each subject as we go through. There's national standards and there's state standards. Now, let's take this a little bit farther. Let's say you read it the whole thing and say, if you don't have mastery of these particular things as you go through, both physical and mental. So we're talking about like intelligence, mastery of class, things like that, but also physical. All right, do you think that would be a good thing to implement in today's society? Now, the second part of the question says, if so, how do you think this would change the modern United States of America? This is kind of a big question. A lot of stuff can go on there. So this is something you gotta think your way through, using the Spartan model as the example. This does not mean that we're doing the Spartan model. What it means is where you couldn't be a citizen and you couldn't have rights, and if you didn't do these certain things, then you wouldn't be eligible to be a member of that country, okay? That means being born there wouldn't be enough. So following the school system of the Spartans, if we implemented that now, all right, what do you think that would work like? How would that, how would that work? How would that look? Okay, it's a little different on number two. Number three, what are the benefits of international sports competitions like the Olympics? Think of the benefits to individual countries as well as the wider global community. Okay, this is what I call my softball pitch for some of you, okay? A lot of you may choose this question, but it's easy sounding, but I'm looking for more, okay? I'm not just looking for, oh, it's fun, oh, it's cool, all right? Think about, you got international sports competitions. What are the benefits both for individual countries as well as the wider world community as a whole? Those are the questions. Number four, last one. How was Alexander the Great? I abbreviated ATG. Thank you, Jackson Whited. Good job on that. Shout out for you. Um, responsible for spreading Hellenic culture around the world. What long-term impacts do you think this had on the growth of countries in his former empire? Okay. So, Alexander the Great. How did he spread Hellenic culture? If you don't remember what Hellenic means, Hellenic means Greek culture, okay? We know this father is from Macedonia, Philip II, came down, conquered the Greeks after they've been having the Peloponnesian War for a while, okay? And then he put down some revolts in Greece himself, very young when he took over, around 20 years old-ish, and then spread out and conquered the Persian Empire. Now, what long-term impacts do you think this had on the growth of countries in his former empire? So, you know, he had a big empire that he conquered. He died, said to the strongest, it all fell apart and went to pieces, and these different countries went their own ways, okay? But he did unify the East and the West. So, Hellenic culture, all right, how was he responsible for spreading this around? If you've watched this video this far and listened to these four questions, it might give you some hints about, hints about how to address these test questions, okay? Choose two and only two. 50 points a piece, we'll grade them, they are due on Friday, okay? The cabinet assignment is posted and live. I've also sent out an email to all of my sixth grade history students with this particular amount of details in it. 
and good luck. Bye.